is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a brand new aew unrivaled collection action figure or action figures that we have to reveal to you guys you guys know yesterday we talked about it and today we got it revealed to us brand new ringside exclusive aew unrivaled two pack i don't want to waste any of your time guys let's just shut the hell up and dive into this and they're going fast man they're they're absolutely moving fast so you probably want to pause the video before we even discuss it if you like what you see go over there and grab it you know pause video go over there and grab it use promo code md toys but diving in guys ringside exclusive two-pack jurassic express luchasaurus and jungle boy holy christ when i look at this packaging i think of the rainforest cafe if you've ever eaten there i look at this and i think immediately what is this rainforest cafe but i love the packaging i love the packaging i love the the figures i mean let's just shut the hell up let's dive into it diving into the figures themselves guys we are getting what i expected you know this is exactly what i expected we have luchasaurus and jungle boy in their white gear now for some reason in my brain I didn't remember that Jungle Boy ever wore his white gear. Like, I never even, like, like now that I see it in figure form, I'm like, oh, yeah, he does have white gear. But for some reason, that wasn't clicking in my brain when I initially told you guys about it yesterday. So, seeing it here is absolutely impeccable. Not only do we have our first versions of Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, but we have our interchangeable head sculpts now that we can pop onto the Series 5 figure. So, if you want a serious face, you want a growling face, you want, you know, this grimacing face for Luchasaurus that doesn't have the tongue out, I mean, it's all beautiful man this is all beautiful stuff and it's in the white gear man it's the white gear this is absolutely beautiful you love to see this you guys know already that i'm losing my john brown mind over here super clean super fantastic i'm so glad we don't have to wait you know it's like uh you know when you get kenny omega series one you're like damn yeah this is great but now we gotta wait on another kenny omega before we get that one then we got the ring right we got the ringside exclusive aew authentic scale ring kenny omega it was like yeah great attire but still the skin tone you know the skin tone isn't the best I would really like to see a different skin tone. Then we get the Series 4, and you're like, oh, hell yeah, bro. This is what I'm talking about. See, with this, with the Series 5 Luchasaurus and the Ringside Exclusive, we don't have to wait that much longer for both. I'm, I'm guessing that Luchasaurus Series 5 should be hitting Ringside any day now, and these had the pre-order date of late May, which is just a couple weeks away or a few weeks away. So that is absolutely incredible. We don't have to wait a ton of time to get these figures in our hands. We'll be able to compare them. We'll be able to switch them out. I'm happy. I mean, I'm kind of happy and sad at the same time. It's kind of a bittersweet moment for me because I never even got to use my customs besides at Hell's Gate. Like, I wanted to use them on MDT Live, but it looks like by the time we get to MDT Live, I'm going to have these in hand. So that's, that's absolutely incredible. Really happy about it. Can't wait to get these in hand. But just discussing everything, man... Comparing the two, I definitely like the two-pack better than the initial versions that we got with Series 5, and it just looks great, man. The white gear is just better than the green gear. I mean, it is what it is, but it's so cool to see two different looks, two different head sculpts. The likeness is there. I'm really, really excited to see how Luchasaurus scales with the rest of our collections. You know, everybody used to tell me that mine was too short, but, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see about that. I like the knee pad mold. All the custom molds that AEW or Jazzwares use to make their figures is so great. Like, even Jungle Boy's knee pads, I've mentioned those before. It's not like they reuse the same parts over and over and over again. They actually use custom sculpted parts that are unique to each individual character on AEW television. So that is beautiful to see. Jungle Boy's pissed off expression looks great. The white gear looks amazing. I mean, dude, I really can't say enough about this two-pack. I know that a lot of people were probably wanting Marco's stunt, but you know, man, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I'm sure we're gonna get him sooner or later, and it would have been really cool to see a three-pack. You know, it would have gave me a real Jax, like, old-school vibe seeing a three-pack come out. And, you know, we've seen three-packs from Mattel before, so I guarantee AEW and Jazzwares, they're gonna give us a three-pack eventually. And it may be of Jurassic Express. It may be of of, you know, SCU. It could be, I mean, there's so many different ways they could give it to us. So hopefully Marco Stunt will be in a wave coming up soon to, you know, plug in there for Jurassic Express. But dude, what a badass two-pack. I definitely like this better than the Blood Brothers. So like, if you like the, bro you know, the Blood Brothers two-pack, I know it was a cool moment and all that, but it wasn't very different than what we got with the Series 1 Cody and the Series 2 Dustin. You just put like some fake blood on there, print it on the figure. So I don't know. If you if you liked that, you 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 for sure should like this. Like no doubt. Unless you're just not fans of the characters. But in figure four, man, this Luchasaurus is insane. Like he's 
he's definitely going to be the coolest looking wrestler on the shelf. If a kid doesn't even know who Luchasaurus is, walks down the damn aisle, looks up on the shelf and sees Luchasaurus, instantly going to be one of his favorites, man. Especially kids love dinosaurs and ish. Wrestler combined with dinosaur, what do you want, man? He, he has tattoos. He's epic. He is a crazy looking action figure and I cannot wait. He's definitely one of my favorites on AEW and this just solidifies it, man. This is excellent stuff. Really happy with the packaging for mock collectors. Uh, they, they actually packaged him, you know, with freaking Jungle Boy on his shoulders, which is really cool. You can, you can, you know, display it with the doors open or the doors closed. It really blends in there when you close it up. It's really just sick, man. And the back of the packaging I didn't even get into, but having them pose like that for the poster and stuff like that, this is just great, man. This is the things that you love to see, and I cannot wait to get these in hand and review them for you guys and see how they compare to the Series 5 when we get those as well. And who knows when that will be, but hopefully, you know, we get everything squared away. But these figures look fantastic. I'm super excited for them. And you guys can let me know down below, do you guys prefer these or do you prefer the first versions? Of course, both versions have their own, you know, unique qualities about them, what I like, what I don't like. But uh, when I say what I don't like, I mean, there's really nothing I don't like about both packs because your first versions, the ones in Series 5, is a really good, like, standard version, you know? And these are great for your, you know, your different looks for them, you know, if you want to switch it up. Like, Jungle Boy's typical look is in the brown. If you want to switch it up, you got the white gear. Luchasaurus's, you know, typical gear is more of like a green and dark color. Then you throw it around and you put the white gear in there. So, I'm hype, man. I can't say enough about it. The gauntlets even look custom sculpted, so... It's just really cool, man. The belt looks great. I just can't say enough about it, man. I mean, that's pretty much it. Just, oh my god, dude. Zooming in on that, on that mask for Luchasaurus is just so wicked, man. I really can't say enough about it. And again, it just goes back to BEW's head sculpt that he sculpted with Mad Reaper and the head cast and everything that we have on our figure. Just insane, bro. Just insane. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. I just had to put this up to you guys again. I think, pre like, I don't even know what number pre-order they're on already, but they're definitely, they've already, like, sold a bunch of pre-orders already, so you may be already, like, waiting a little bit, but hopefully, you know, you already got yours in, and, you know, you got the stuff going and everything like that, but I think that pretty much does it for my video today, guys. I just wanted to put this up as a reaction video because I knew that you guys wanted to see it, and I told you guys that I would cover it no matter what it was, even though it was exactly what we thought it was, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of Series 5 compared to the Ringside Exclusive 2-pack. I think I'd have to go 2-pack, you know, just because of the white gear, but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. And for a random shout-out, it's going to go to Clam Strips, who says, I still see Nia Jax Elite 65 warming the shelves at Target. Looks like now we're going to have another one, which I thought was pretty funny. So a huge shout-out to Clam Strips. Uh, you guys know that Elite 89 Nia Jax is coming. She's going to be the Chase variant. If you missed all of our news yesterday, guys, we had Elite 89 leaked out, as well as some AEW figure images leaked out. So definitely go check that out. But Clam Strips, I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, yeah, I've definitely seen some Nia Jax figures warming the shelves. Hopefully her Elite 89 figure flies off the shelves and is really, really good. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line. You cross the line. I've been beat.